This article will discuss HBM2 and GDDR6, two of the newest and most popular memory types for modern GPUs. You'll learn the usage, functions, and specifications, which will help you choose the right one for your requirements. HBM2 vs. GDDR6, a detailed comparison. HBM2 Memory HBM, High Bandwidth Memory, is a collaborative attempt by Samsung and Hynix. It's found on top-notch graphics cards and other sophisticated graphics processors. High-speed serial memory interfaces are common applications. Common applications of what? Its popularity stems from the fact that it offers a large memory range while consuming relatively little power. It's also not created the same way as GDDR. Although HBM functions almost the same way as Micron Technologies' hybrid memory cube, the two devices are vastly incompatible. The HBM memory bus size is enormous in comparison to conventional DROM memories. If your stack includes four DROM dies, it means each die has two 128-bit channels, for a total of eight channels and 1024 bits. Given the number of connections to the device's memory, it became necessary to design a new connecting the memory to the GPU. The interposers come into action at this point. To decrease the number of memory pathways, the interposer requires that the memory and CPU be physically near each other. HBM's DROM is closely connected to the host computer chip and processed via a distributed interface, split into several channels, each of which operates independently and is not synced with the others. In this way, HBM2 delivers better performance while consuming very little power. Considering the architecture, an HBM memory has a non-planar, three-dimensional structure. The design has a cubicle shape. It entails stacking memory chips one on top of the other to create a cube-like appearance. This maximizes space efficiency by using less space while providing better performance and density. You can also position it near the CPU, resulting in faster processing. An HBM memory structure's stacks are independent of one another, but they function together. In comparison to the GDDR variants, HBM technology consumes less power. Being the latest version of HBM, HBM2 provides better memory and bandwidth choices. It features 8 DROM dies in each stack and can reach rates of up to 2 gigabits per second. The NVIDIA Tesla P100 was the first GPU to support HBM2 and reach speeds maxing out at 2 gigabits per second. The NVIDIA Tesla P100 was the first GPU to support HBM2, with an emphasis on virtual reality, VR, gaming, augmented reality, AR, applications, and other memory-intensive workloads, such as machine learning and deep processing, the HBM2 standard is gaining more significance. Radeon RX Vega 56, NVIDIA Titan V, Radeon Vega Frontier Edition, NVIDIA Quadro GP100, and Radeon Vega RX 64 are among the GPUs that presently support the HBM2 standard. Why should you go with it? Here's a quick list of some of the benefits this type of memory offers. Lower power usage. Compact form factor. No overheating. Better bandwidth. Higher performance. What might dissuade you? There's only one thing that might discourage you from buying it, and that is its high price tag. However, given the large number of benefits it offers, it's worth it. GDDR6 Memory In the GDDR family, GDDR6 is the latest graphics standard, superseding GDDR5 and GDDR5X. It's a high-capacity synchronous visual random access memory developed for high-performance applications. GDDR5 and previous versions only supported one 32-bit data bus, one 32-bit channel, and one address bus. This was a basic version. Because the configured needed to read and write operations in the same line, it didn't offer buffer flexibility. On the other hand, GDDR6 operates like two separate DROM modules, each with its data and command bus. With a higher number of channels, the structure of GDDR6 is advantageous. The memory controller can handle the DROM. This function helps prevent lengthy delays that are sometimes caused by page activation limitations or page refresh. Another advantage of GDDR6 is that it cancels out the effects of the 16-cycle burst duration. With a 32-bit wide bus length and a burst length of 16-bit, 
the resultant transaction is a 64-bit atom. The standard GDDR6 operates at 1.35V and comes in a variety of capacities. Speeds of up to 16 gigabits per second are achievable. The memory standard provides a bandwidth of up to 72 gigabits per second. The standard is modeled on the 10 nanometers manufacturing standard node and provides a maximum of 32 gigabytes per die density. It's commonly believed that it'll be utilized in NVIDIA's Volta and Turing graphics cards. The memory card and standard are specifically designed for virtual reality, high-end gaming, artificial intelligence applications, AI, and cryptocurrency mining. Micron, Samsung, and Hynix are currently manufacturing the GDDR6 memory standard. Cards from Micron and Samsung will max with a compact form factor UT at 16 gigabits per second, meeting the demands of advanced users. Hynix's memory standards will appeal to the mainstream market, with rates ranging from 10 to 14 gigabits per second. GDDR6 memory cards from Micron and Samsung will feature 16 and 32 gigabytes dies, whereas those from Hynix will have an 8 gigabytes die. The Turing model supports the GDDR6 memory standard. Quadro RTX 5000, Quadro RTX 6000, Quadro RTX 8000, GeForce RTX 2060, GeForce RTX 2070, GeForce RTX 2080, and NVIDIA Titan RTX are a few graphics cards that support GDDR6 memory standards. In terms of speed, the standard provides outstanding performance. It offers rates that are higher than those offered by HBM2 standards. Several companies have begun the mass manufacturing of the memory standard. The memory standards are developed for a relatively comparable user population, considering the application domain. HBM2 is a space-efficient option with a compact form factor that can ideally fit in systems with limited space but greater demands for speed and performance. If quicker speeds are important to you, the GDDR6 standard may be preferable to the HBM2. While HBM2 can deliver rates of up to 650 gigabits per second, GDDR6 with a 384-bit interface can deliver speeds of up to 960 gigabits per second. The final thoughts. There is no definitive answer to which option is better, HBM2 versus GDDR6, because both have advantages and disadvantages. The selection depends on the individual's requirements and needs. Both memory standards deliver exceptional performance and are found in high-end graphics cards. When it comes to performance and power consumption, the HBM2 standard should be by far the greatest memory choice. However, the memory standards are quite new, and there are currently few commercial choices. Both formats have trade-offs in their present forms, thus, it comes down to consumers and their needs in the end. We will continue about GPU VRAM videos please wait for it. We will discuss all area about VRAM. Thanks for watching.